guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here and if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. In today's video, I am sharing with you four different ways that you can take your vinyasa. So often when we're in classes, you'll hear this cue of vinyasa through or take your vinyasa and there's not always the breakdown of what that exactly means. So I'm giving you the option to either skip it, it's traditional, both feet to the floor, keeping that top leg lifted, take it into a handstand hop, either more of an L shape or a split shape between the two heels. So if you're curious what that would look like and how you can start to incorporate that into your yoga practice, just keep watching. If you enjoyed today's video and you learned something new, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, let's get right into it. So with every option today, we'll start in the shape of a low lunge. I'll begin with my left foot forward and my right foot a big step back. Hands will frame my left foot. From there, the cue generally would be something along the lines of you can take your vignette vinyasa or vinyasa through. Option one is to skip it altogether. So from that low lunge shape, you would step your left foot all the way back, elevate your hips and lengthen your spine. That's your option one. And more often than not that option to skip the vinyasa, it's perfectly appropriate. Then option two, coming back to your low lunge, you'd firm into your hands and with your inhale, step it back to down dog. And then you move right through your chaturanga into your back bend of choice, whether that's cobra or up dog, then right into your downward facing dog. Then option three, as you start to feel a little more comfortable and familiar with what the vinyasa feels like in your body, inhale, down dog kick, sweeping your left leg high, keeping your left leg strong, straight, and active. You'd exhale into your chaturanga, inhale, back bend of choice, and exhale into downward facing dog. Now the catch, if you are keeping that top leg engaged and lifted, it doesn't go limp. It's super strong, it's super active, all the way down to five toes through the knee, through the thigh, and super important that your hip doesn't roll open. Ultimately, you're not here stacking the top hip above the low hip. You're keeping your hip square, wrapping the inner thigh up towards the sky, and that will keep you level in your low back, in your sacrum, and in your hips. Now the fourth and final option that I'll be showing you today is incorporating a handstand hop. It might be little over time, the inversion, you find some hang time, you find some air time. You find the firmness into both of your hands with your inhale, down dog kick, you sweep the top leg high, and then you take a little hop in that bottom leg. Again, it doesn't have to be that big or that high. It might just look like a little bunny hop. So you can get comfortable here doing that a couple of times. And then maybe you find more of that split or L shape, just depending on your comfort level in the inversions. Then you lower and catch yourself right into chaturanga your back bend of choice, then into downward facing dog. Now initially when you are incorporating either that bunny hop, more of that L shape or that split shape, which would be the most intense in terms of stacking your hips on top of your shoulders, you start small, work patiently, and then over time it becomes more of a grand and big shape and you have longer hang time. When you're incorporating those L or split shapes, every time you vinyasa, builds a lot of strength in the shoulders, in the arms, in the wrists, and that's a great way to find a little more leverage and balance in your handstands because you're not expected to lift both of your legs up at the same time. You have one leg pulling you this way and the other leg pulling you this way. So you can kind of teeter totter and find some nice balance in the shape. So again, with that last option, the inhale lifts you up. You bend your bottom leg. That's your powerhouse right here. Then you hop all the way up. It might be small here. Little bunny hops. Might be a little bit bigger. More of this L. And then finally, it might become more of that split shape. The catch when you are incorporating the handstand hops, you want to make sure that when you lower down into chaturanga, you're not landing with locked out elbows. You land in the chaturanga shape and take yourself halfway down. It's a really safe way that you can start to explore inversions, specifically handstands in your practice. Because again, you have a lot more control and leverage with that top leg bringing you over and the back leg keeping you safe grounded closer to the floor. Yeah, that's all that I have for you today. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. So the beginning shape with every option that I'm going to give today, it's a low lunge. So I'll start with my left foot forward, my right foot. <laughs> I'll just start that again. <laughs> shape. Mm -mm. I'm losing my breath, so easy. 
Lacey, I'm running out of breath, and I got the big finale here. I'm breathing all heavy into this mic. <laughs> okay, okay, good, okay. Lacey, whenever you're ready. Thanks, dear. <laughs> Ooh. So, my name is Caitlin. Well, that was seven minutes, that was pretty good. In today's video, Ooh. I'm like still out of breath. I don't know why I'm trying to do this right now. I'm just trying to catch my breath, really. In today's video, <laughs> three, no, skip it, down dog. Okay, she's done. 